All right, so I bought a Magic Shine MJ906S headlight for my uh, Trek Rail 7, and I was trying to figure out how to wire it in because there is a ba there is a wire actually included to add an e-bike light to this bike, um, and so I was trying to figure out how that works, how do you wire it in, and uh, making some headway. So um, when you take the battery out, uh, you'll notice there's different cables and tubes here. Um, I was counting like, okay, there's five things here and only four coming out. So obviously one of these was going to no, going nowhere. And it was the, it is the um, headlight uh, wire. So um, I was fishing out this way, um, thinking I may have to remove this to really get it out of there, but that's not the case. Um, <laughs> supposed to probably leave that where it was and I could see it coiled up inside here. Anyway, um, it's gonna come out on the side up here. Uh, I wasn't sure, well, I wasn't sure which side so I took the one off over here. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room to add another one, but this one, when I popped this side off, uh, this little rubber piece right here, just kind of fell out, almost like it was covering up this slot right here, right there, for another wire to come through. So I think that's where it's supposed to come out. So the next step is to get this out of the way here and fish that wire out through that part of the frame. The first thing you want to do is you take, uh, it's a Torx 20 screw out um, that's holding this whole cover in place. And then you slide this like that out of the way. And then you can see up inside there and that's where you're gonna have to fish out the bike wire, I'm sorry, the light wire from inside there. Okay, with uh, some effort, uh, I was able to find the wire that's up in there. And so it looks like that, okay? And it's zip tied to the wire that goes to your um, battery control to the computer there so that it's zip tied together um and i've got to figure out now if i need to cut the zip tie or what uh, but i want to at least show what you're looking for it's kind of difficult you have to it helps to twist these wires around as you're trying to pull it up from inside there um and you'll get it if you look in there you'll see it i've got some really narrow tweezers uh maybe you could, you could reach in there and pull it out a little easier possibly right, so the uh Light is mounted to the handlebar right now. I'm using the strap that it came with already attached. It has some other size ones uh, for different diameter bars. This one worked great for the 31.8 bar that I've got on here. I'm just gonna run the wire underneath. Now it comes with this type of connector, all right? Um, and they sell different attachments that are made for different systems like Bosch. Um, this one is for Bosch, but I ended up, because the wire coming out of the bike is just couple of bare wires, uh, you know, um, there's no connector here. I went ahead and cut off this uh, wire that I bought that has a Bosch connector on the other end is not here anymore. And so I'm just gonna wire this directly to that. And then this will just disconnect here. That way, if I wanna disconnect the light and take it off when I'm not riding at night, then you can do that by just, you just twist this light, it unlocks from the mount and then unplug this and uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And then this wire here would just be, you know, Velcroed up and not going anywhere pretty much. Um, so that's what we're gonna do and uh, see how this goes. Okay, so um, I uh, temporarily just twisted the wires together just to see if I could see the headlight come on. This is not <laughs> how those are gonna be. Uh, they'll be uh, shrink wrapped and wired properly, but I, I uh, pushed the excess wire up inside the head tube there and put the battery back in and uh, went to turn it on and nothing happens. What you do is you, you're supposed to be able to hit the plus button for about two seconds and that turns on the headlights. Well, it turns out, I think you have to actually take it to the bike shop and have them program that feature in. So, uh, and you also tell them how many watts this is and that will tell the computer uh, how much reserve to leave so you have some headlight left even if your battery is mostly dead. Um, that way, at least you have, you know, even if you're not on battery to for power assist, you'll still have some battery to run the light for so many minutes. I don't know how that how to calculate that, uh, but that's the next step. Um, so uh, I'll stop here. You guys get the idea. It's pretty much all going to be velcroed, and, and so you can just disconnect this right here when you want to take the light off, um, and this will be nice and sheet wrapped. Sheet wrapped. That is all. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, here's how that looks when the um, light wire is coming out of that little cover plate right there. So it's a little tight. You have to kind of. Um, push this downward as you try to get the screw back out of the hole, but it's not too bad, not too bad.